The young Viola visits a mysterious house in the woods. She soon discovers its dangerous nature and must find a way out. But the house is ever-changing, and death could be lurking anywhere. Hello everyone, welcome to The Witch's House, a free puzzle horror game. I want to thank viewer Spectre Von Baron for recommending it to me. Link to where you can find the game will be in the description. And that is about all there is to say. Let's get going. Begin. And here we go. Alright. So I've started it up before, just to familiarize myself with the controls, because they are kind of awkward to me. Since it uses the arrow keys to move instead of WASD, which is what I'm most familiar with. So I'm probably going to be a little bit, uh... I'm not going to be too good with the controls. But hopefully I'm good enough. I know how to open the menu. I know how to open your inventory, that's good. That's an achievement. I'm proud of myself. Okay, so I noticed... And I haven't read it yet, but I noticed that in your inventory is a note. Letter. A letter in your pocket. Okay, let's read it. Mind if you go to her house, but just stay away from the forest. Hope to see you home soon. Dad. Stay away from the forest. Welp. It kind of looks like I'm in the forest. So from what I've noticed from this beginning area, it seems like you can examine pretty much anything. Which is really cool. I can even examine this. A patch of spiky grass. Bugs have taken up residence in this rotten log. A towering lush tree. Okay, and that's literally everything I have done when I started this game just to make sure it worked. Now, from the readme, I believe that cat that I see over here might be a save point. Because it mentioned something about saving at cats. I don't know why. I guess we're about to find out. Hello, kitty cat. <laughs> oh my god, it jumped up. That was adorable. Black cat. You're up and at him, huh? Uh, was, was that it? Did I save? Humans shouldn't be out here. Too dangerous. Oh. Now I saved. Okay, that's strange. Okay then. Thank you, Black Cat, for saving my... Well, saving my life, literally speaking. You saved my life. Something something something's house. And back is out of the forest. Well... In that case, I'm going to leave. Goodbye. Oh. Gigantic roses seem to have taken up residence in my path. Cold, seemingly artificial roses. Artificial? Like plastic? The way is blocked by a startlingly huge patch of roses. Okay, that's alarming to say the least. What is that I see flickering on the left? Can I... Can I go into the forest? Ooh. Is this a secret? What is that? Found something rusty and sharp. I can choose not to take it. Hell no, I want it. What is it? Got a machete. <laughs> Sweet. Wait a minute, it's still sparkling. Is there something else there? Is, is this a tutorial light thing? Movement? Oh. Using items. Mm-hmm. Stand in front of an object, interact with, and use an item from the menu. Okay. No questions. Thank you. Sparkly dot thing. Oh, the cat's gone. Alright, can I examine this machete? A sharp tool for cutting. Rusty and old. A withered tree. 
Yep, that thing looks long past dead. Long past dead? What does that even mean? What did I just say? It looks like it's been dead for a very long time. That's what I meant to say. The way is blocked by a small batch of roses. Okay, so I'm guessing I can use a machete to hack it down, which just made me think, what if I can use it to hack the way back down? It's probably too big, but let's try it. Cut roses. Can't even make a dent in them. That's what I thought. Alright, this patch looks small enough to probably cut through. Excellent. The way is cleared. And the machete broke. Ah. It must have been very old and rusty if it broke from using it once on some roses. A tree stump. A thick and lush tree. Indeed, indeed. Ooh, another kitty cat. Oh, you're so cute. Huh? What is it? Hmm. So the way out is blocked up by roses. You gonna go in? Might as well, if you can't leave. Indeed! What else am I going to do? Anything around the back? Around the side? Nah. Okay. Into the witch's house we go. candle flame. The candle flames sway curiously. Well, it almost as if there's a draft? Wouldn't that be creepy if you saw a candle flame swaying as if there was a... If, as if there was a draft, as if there's a lot of wind blowing over it, but you didn't feel any wind at all? That would be creepy. Okay, I'm leaving. Goodbye, I'm done. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go in. There's a blood stain. <laughs> well, that was unexpected. It seems my first instincts to leave and run away were correct. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed my playthrough of the witch's house. Goodbye. Okay. Continue. Insta death. Let me take a sip of my tea here and, and ponder this bloodstain. Hmm. I'm thinking I shouldn't touch it. Yeah. Let's not touch it. I'm guessing that bloodstain is probably what's left of whoever else did the exact same thing I just did. What's this plaque say? Come to my room. Okay. Sure. Where is your room? Oh, this is different. Yo! Did a bouncing black cat that just mysteriously appears and saves my game just say yo to me? Yes, it did. Decided I'd follow you for laughs. Well, you're gonna get a lot of laughs, and you're gonna see a lot of deaths. Incidentally, where the heck do you come out from? I don't know. I don't even know. A vase of roses. Oh, this is like a creepy clock. Let's try the other pathways first. It won't open. Of course, now I'm trapped. Looks like some industrial sized scissors over there. A workbench. There's a pair of scissors on the workbench. Take them. 
They're chained to the bench. Alright. So I can use an item on the workbench if it needs to be cut, but I can't take it with me unless I can get something to cut the chain. Got it. A dusty old dresser. There's nothing inside. It's locked. A vase of roses. <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. It's another room with something in the center and a plaque. Nope. Just gonna squish me. Or maybe a trapdoor is going to open up and I'm going to fall into a pit of spikes. A large clock. Time marches on. Okay, this room looks more welcoming. I see presents in the corner. Ooh, presents! A teddy bear rests against the pile of presents. Let's take the teddy bear. Got a teddy bear. Let's examine the teddy bear. A big stuffed bear. Excellent. Can I hug it for comfort? Oh. A present fell from the pile. Is it trying to tell me something? What's in it? Hmm, nothing. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure there's something in it, but you won't open it. It says, Opens when the house returns to normal. Okay, what is normal in this house? What would normal look like? Is this not normal? Witch's diary. Sure, let's read it. I was sick, so no one played with me. My father and my mother didn't love me. Is... Is that all she wrote? Well, that is an extraordinarily short diary entry. Okay. It's not lit. Artificial flowers adorn the desk. Hmm. Artificial flowers, just like the artificial-seeming flowers that blocked my pathway, maybe? Okay. Look at that happy-looking teddy bear in a basket in the center of the room. I'm not gonna go there, I'm gonna go to the black. Bears in the basket. Yes, thank you, I... I recognize that. <sighs> okay, I don't want to touch it, but... Is there anything else I can do? Hold on, I should probably save. Is there a save limit? Like, does the cat disappear after a certain amount of saves, or... No, it's still there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I could cut the teddy bear open. Maybe there's a key inside or something. Let's use it. Oh, it doesn't seem to work. Or, oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. No, not that, not, not, not that, not that, that. There we go. Cut off bear's limbs. Ugh. I was thinking... Cut open its stomach to see if there's anything inside of it. Why would you want to cut off its limbs? That's just downright creepy. So what the hell? Let's do it. Cut off the teddy bear's limbs. Got a teddy bear torso. Why are the scissors bloody? It's a teddy bear. Teddy bears don't have blood. A limbless teddy bear. It's reds. It's red where its limbs were. Okay. If you cut any more, there'd be no bear left. What am I going to... What is that? Is that a paw print? A bloody paw print? As if from a bear? And now the lights are starting to go out. Something tells me something's pissed off that I cut off the bear's limbs. Okay, what am I going to do with this, with this limbless teddy bear? 
What about the clock? All right, I gotta go for the. I gotta go for the bear. The basket has a big teddy bear in it. There's a little bit of room left. Oh, okay. Let's shove the teddy bear torso in with the big bear. Put in basket. Stuff the teddy bear torso in the basket. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Okay, I reunited the bear in maimed form with something. And they lived happily ever after the end. Did, did it just move closer to me? Did that fucking basket just move closer to me just as I left the room? Hold on, I'm going back. I swear it, it's not in the center of the room anymore. You feel like it wasn't there before. It moved. Okay. <laughs> this game has the best death scenes ever. What the fuck? And I got crushed by a huge teddy bear. The end. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> why not? How can I avoid that? Run away from it? I guess I could run. Watch, it's going to move. It's gonna move when I leave the room. Watch it. There, it moved. Okay, let's see if what's unlocked is up here. I mean, there's something up... There's just nothing up here, right? This will be unlocked when the house returns to normal. I'm sure it's not normal yet, right? It won't open? No. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to run. Here we go. Is... Is that it? Is it gone? Okay. Right, so I was going to say, I think this is what's unlocked. Are those the cut-off limbs from the bear? There's teddy bear limbs on the ground. Sure, let's take the teddy bear limbs. Got teddy bear limbs. Cut off with scissors. The insides are fleshy. Oh. The door opened. Right, so I need to be on the lookout for insta-deaths in this game, because this game seems to have a lot of them. Go up to a bloodstain and get crushed. Walk into a room and get crushed by a huge teddy bear. This looks like an unnecessarily large table. I'm not sure what's scarier. The gigantic teddy bear that just tried to kill me or the impracticality of this table. Taste poison. Well, that's a lovely note. An empty teapot and teacups. Wine bottles are lined up on the shelf. It's dark out as far as the eye can see. A fireplace. Look inside. Sure. Nothing but soot. A strangely colored soup in a skull-shaped bowl. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna drink that. Hell no. Alright, there's another door. Right, so I can drink the, uh poison-colored soup of mystery from a skull on the same table that has a note that says taste poison. There's that, and then there's two doors. The cook is busy. Lend a hand. 
Well, it just so happens I have two hands to lend you. Hm? What was that? Were those things that were going to kill me, or were they just rats? I think they're just rats. Or cockroaches? I, I can't really tell what they are. I think they're cockroaches. Oh! Okay. That is a knife that is chopping on the board. Hmm. Do I want to approach it and give it a hand? Sure? No, hold on. It's locked, okay. A wooden table. There's nothing here. Uh, let's check out the other rooms first. Oh, it takes me here. Well, perfect. Jeez, you freaked me out. Don't come out of nowhere like that. Okay, let's go lend the cook a hand. Please don't stab me. There's someone invisible there. Talk. No. Don't, don't talk. The cook is busy, remember? The cook is busy. Just lend a hand. Or two. Hand over bear limbs. Oh, thank you. I was in need of a hand or two. Let me show my appreciation. Got a silver key. Oh. Apparently this invisible cook is actually quite nice. Did I just step on it? I think I just stepped on it. Lined with tableware, glasses, and seasonings. Nothing particularly eye-catching. A rusty stove. A book titled, Dining of Aristocrats. Sure, let's read it. People of ruling and wealthy classes have long enjoyed dining with silverware. By using such hard-to-clean cutlery, they could hire servants to demonstrate their wealth. In addition, silver utensils change color upon contact with poison, making them quite useful. Oh. Oh. I think I get it. Well, wait a minute. I don't have a silver utensil, but I do have a silver key. A beautifully sparkling key. Might be sound like a door, but let me see if I can use it on the poison. Hit bowl with key? <laughs> Why would you do that? Put key in soup, yes. And? Did it change? The key turned black in the soup. Okay, so it is poisonous. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Wait, that unlocked something? Wait, was that in the fireplace? I think the fireplace moved. Like something changed. A fireplace. I swore I saw a change. But I can't look inside. Hmm. Can I take it back? Nope. Alright. I unlocked... So something. You know, I'm gonna go save the game. Hmm. Okay, I'm leaving the room. Where's the cook? A cutting board covered with scratches. And this book is shut now. A book titled Dining of Aristocrats. The door opened. Who is that? Someone just went upstairs. It's dark out as far as the eye can see. I don't trust anything humanoid looking not to move. For example, that statue with a weapon. But there's a the black cat next to it, so it's probably fine. A decorative cat ornament. Gotcha. Haha, <laughs> good one. Yeah. A vase of roses. An armored figure with a spear. Feels like it could move at any moment. Yes, it does. Well, this is a creepy, long, cobblestone hallway. The 
the spider has poor eyes. He can't even tell colors apart. What? A dusty bookshelf full of cobwebs. Nothing of note here. Where's the spider? Something tells me... A butterfly's caught in the web. Take. No. It can't even tell colors apart. A barrel, nothing inside. What about this one? This one's green. There's a piece of rope in the barrel. Take it. Yes. Got some rope. Can't even tell colors apart. I don't think I should take the butterfly. But I'm going to anyway. Take it and run. Got a butterfly. Cool. Goodbye. Wait, am I okay? Can I get stuck in the web? No. It's not, It's on the ceiling. Okay, the... Mmm... It won't open. Fuck. Okay, think. What could I possibly do? If it won't open, what can I do? I have rope. What am I going to do with rope? Nothing. What do I have in my inventory? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Continue. I Maybe I shouldn't have taken the butterfly. Or maybe that had nothing to do with it. I don't know. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, let's leave the butterfly there. Okay, that's what I thought. Taking the butterfly is a bad idea. It alerted the spider to my presence. I guess I should do that when I have a solution of some sort that involves colors? Something to do with colors and its eyesight? Maybe I'm going to trick it and give it a poison or something. What do I have in my inventory? I forgot already. Letter and a rope. Smooth piece of rope. Hmm. Yeah, it was really strange that it tells me my hit points, but so far my hit points have been completely irrelevant. It's either alive or instantly dead. I don't know, maybe something in the future will actually do damage over time. Of course, it just moved. Door. Oh, is that a door? It's locked. Yeah, it's a door. There's some small text on the door. Save the butterfly. Okay, so I need to save the butterfly to get through the door, but I can't save the butterfly until I can take care of the spider. Two doorways now. Up and down. Okay, looks like a library of some sort. I don't even know what this room is. Let's go to the library. Lots of shining things. A book titled The Witch's House 2. Hold on, before I read that, what are the others? Witch's House 1. Are they all just... from the Witch's House series? Uh, this one doesn't even tell me what it is. It just says read or don't read. A funny story. Something tells me it's not actually funny. I think that's a troll book. Anyway, let's read the first one. The Witch's House 1. Keys do not open doors in the witch's house. Something else must serve as a key. That is actually true. So far, keys have not opened anything. It's been doing stuff with the keys. And stuff. Witch's house too. The form of the house changes, based upon the witch's magic. Okay, this one doesn't tell me what it is. What? XX slash XX, XX residence burns down, XX and his wife XX were found dead in the wreckage. Their bodies were found to have stab wounds, so it is suspected that they were murdered and the building then set aflame. Additionally, XX's only daughter Ellen, currently seven, has been missing since the fire. Hmm. The police... Wait, it just... It just ended. Has been missing since the fire. The police. And then it just stops. Okay, and my name's Viola and I'm 13. Any connection to me? I don't know. Probably not. A book titled A Funny Story. Okay, make me laugh. 
Once upon a time, there was a rich man pulling along a cart full of treasure. His cart had broken down in the woods, but there came a passing hunter and his dog. The rich man pleaded to the hunter to keep a close eye on his cart, to which the hunter agreed. The rich man went to get a new cart. Meanwhile, the hunter kept watch. Night soon fell, and the hunter grew worried for his elderly mother still at home. So the hunter told the dog to watch the cart and went home to check on his mother. When the man returned, he saw the dog on guard. So he gave the dog a reward for his master, a silver coin to carry in his mouth. The dog ran all the way home and brought his master the coin. But the hunter flew into a rage. I told you to watch the cart, and what did you do? You stole from it. So the master killed the dog. <laughs> See, th that was a funny story. Even the chair is laughing and it agrees with me. I know, that was funny, wasn't it, chair? I like the part where the dog died. That was the funniest part. Oh, we can actually see my reflection. Boom! Jesus. Okay. I saw more than my reflection there. Nope. 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 Shouldn't have examined it. Nope. Is that a hole? There's someone... There's someone invisible there. Don't talk to the invisible person. Nope. An open children's encyclopedia of animals. Books on plants and crumpled balls of paper. Nope. Okay. The wall is red stained and sticky. Books on plants and crumpled balls of paper. A piled stack of art collections and encyclopedias. Right, I'm gonna save the game. And... The mirror is cracked. Yes, it is. Thank God, I don't want to see anything out of it ever again. Let's talk to the invisible... thing. Talk. Sorting these books isn't going well. Need something to tie them together. Oh, do you? I have a rope. Ah. You're giving me this? Uh-huh. Thank you. Take this. Got a book of death. <laughs> okay, thank you. What, what do I do with a book of death? The front cover seems safe, but reading the contents... Book of death. <laughs> no! I'm not gonna read the freaking book of death. Okay. Can I force the spider to read the book of death and thus die? Hold on, Mr. Spider, I know you're going to eat my face, but could you please just read a couple sentences from this? Okay, bye. Where did you go? That's where I came from. That's the spider. Do you know what we have to do? Curiosity. Curiosity is just too much. I'm gonna read the Book of Death. Read it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Her face just poured blood all over the pages. Okay. Don't read the Book of Death. Surprise, the Book of Death kills you. Alright, what's down here? It's like a display case of some sort. Models of insects are lined up inside the glass case. There's a blue-winged butterfly model in the case. Oh! Its eyesight is not very good. I can't tell between different colors. I'm gonna take it, but I'm gonna replace it with another one, so it won't be angry. Even though it's fake. Cover on the case won't budge. Hmm. Well, could you do that again and just like break the whole glass? That would actually be very convenient, spirit. The glass case holds what looks like a human head. The case is cracked. Don't, don't read it. 
there's nothing in the glass case. Models of insects, mm hmm Same for all of them? Yeah. A picture of a white cat done with wool. Neat. A dusty bookshelf full of cobwebs. Nothing of note here. A painting of a lady with her paras parasol by a river? I'm not even sure what a parasol is. Why is a bookcase out in the open? Uh, a small bookshelf. A book is missing. Oh, a book of death? No, I don't want to read it. Yeah, there we go. Put book on shelf. Place the book in the shelf. Heard the lid of a glass case coming off. Sweet. Whoa. What is that? Was that the statue? Well, I mean, there's nothing else I can do, so... There's nothing I can do but go out there. <laughs> okay. Yep. Insta-death. Again. <laughs> the hell am I supposed to do to avoid that? Just run? I guess. And we do it all over again. I have to say, I'm not a, it's amusing. At first it's amusing, but... This insta-death thing I think is way overused and really silly, and I know it's going to annoy me. Or start annoying me a lot. So far, it's still funny, but... If it keeps happening, like, every two minutes, I mean... Yeah. Alright, let's try this again. Don't read it. Put it on the bookshelf. Alright. Come say hi! Ah, I win. Let's go save. I'm better at tag than you. The hell did that thing even come from? There's a blue... Yep. Take it. Got a butterfly model. And I know exactly what to do with it. Save again. And we go over here. And we either use it first or take it and then use it. Did it... Did it work? No, okay, we take it first. Place butterfly model in the web. There we go. Done. What, what is that? A hole open up at the floor. Uh... Should I go down the hole? Can I go down the hole? I can't. Okay. The statue's back. The butterfly flutters out of your hands and slips out through the wall. Wait, what? Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Oh, okay, it went. It went. And unlocked it, and I noticed the cat is gone. I'm gonna run, just in case the thing comes after me. The door opened. Okay. What the hell? What is this? Storage room? Oh no, those are stairs. But... What are those? Oh, I know what they are! It's gigantic shredded wheat! No, 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 that's stupid. It's partially caramelized marshmallows! No, that's dumb. It's those little, those little pillowy mint things you get around Thanksgiving! I don't even know what they're called. No, no, that's dumb. They're pillows! Yes, they're pillows. Ooh, I want to go to sleep. No, seriously, though, what are these? I don't even know. They look kind of like pillows. I think they're pillows. Although they look strangely yellow. Hey, kitty. It's funny. There's a cute cat and calm music playing. And then there's a huge bloodstain all over the wall and the ground right next to it.
Yo. The wall is red stained and sticky. What? I don't even know what just happened. I swore it hit me before I even left the room, but apparently it didn't, but then I left the room anyway and it still killed me. Okay. Let's try that again. Seems to be some sort of a trap that I set off that shot an arrow at me. Okay, it goes through the door. Let's try that again, but fast, fasterer. Let's in fasterer it. Okay, cool. Does it only shoot one or is it gonna keep shooting? It's gonna keep shooting, so I just need to go to the side. Got it. The candle flames sway curiously. Okay, gotcha. It's one of those places. Did... did that... Did that knife just teleport, like, right at me? It didn't even come from somewhere, it just, like, came into existence. <laughs> the, uh... Let's just say the uh, movement system in this game doesn't exactly lend itself well to precision. It's basically tile-based, the movement. Yeah, you kind of move like a tile. It's also incredibly unresponsive. Okay. Yo! <laughs> By the way, this is a witch's house. <gasps> no! This is a witch's house in a game called The Witch's House where I enter a house in the woods and it's the only house I enter? And I found a diary called like The Witch's Diary or something like that and you're telling me this is The Witch's House? No way! You knew that, right? Right. It's locked. What is that? Is that a frog? I think it's a cute little frog. Do you like frogs? Yes, I do. Come here, froggy. Oh, I think it likes me. Oh, it's, it's saying love? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, the frog came along. Aww, little froggy. Clear blue water. A lost frog searching for his home. Pet the frog. The frog is happy. Well, this looks a little precarious. It's kind of hard to tell, but I believe that is a huge sort of beam going out over an abyss leading to a lever. A very thin bridge. Look across, inspect, bridge, cross, inspect. It's thinner than your leg. It snap any second under your weight. Okay, don't go across then. You can see some sort of lever. Hold on, um... Froggy, away! Send the frog across. Good froggy! Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Now come back, come back! Aww. Whoops. I thought it was going to kill me. It didn't. Whew. That's at least the second time I've seen her. It depends on whether she was the one I saw in the mirror or not. If she was not, then it's the second time, because I saw her going up these stairs as well. 
Alright, what did I unlock? I guess probably this door? The door opened. Ooh, cake! A piece of strawberry shortcake stuck to the table. Wait, stuck? You mean, like, glued? Make a mirror image. A large painting on the wall. There's a switch on the frame. Eh, don't push it. Not yet. Shelves lined with tea and canned sweets. Nothing seems movable. The tableware is stored in symmetrical fashion. There's a piece of cake. No. Not yet. So there's a switch on the painting or something like that and cake that I can take. Also, there's a frog here. A stuffed... Oh. A stuffed frog is affixed to the chair. You're an imposter! I don't like you. Shelves lined with tea and canned sweets. Oh, these can be rearranged. Why would I want to do that? No. A large painting on the wall. There's a switch on the frame. Okay. Two switches. Alright, so there's a piece of cake here. Two switches on opposite sides. I can rearrange this side, but not the left side. And the sign says make a mirror image. Hmm. Wooden table, there's nothing here. What about this frog? Can't put it here. What if I put it... Oh, well, right, I'm supposed to make a mirror image, so... Here you go, froggy. Go right here. Good froggy, can I pet you? The frog is sitting down. No, no, leave it. Okay, so I gotta move everything until I have a mirror image. Got it. Hold on, what is that red bit here? Oh, there we go. It's a rose. Take it. Got a rose. Okay. Let's make a mirror image here. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So this one needs an extra rose over here on the left. Put a rose in the vase. Excellent. I'm going to need that piece of cake. Take it. Got a piece of cake. Cool. Uh, right here. Yeah, I should do. Put cake on table. Excellent. Is that a mirror edge? A mirror image I'm making? Yes. Yes. Okay. Just making sure. That's good. That's good. That's good. I believe everything is good except this needs to be rearranged. Rearrange. Okay, well that's obviously not right. Um, is that right? I think it is. Isn't it right? Blue, blue, green, green. Red, blue, blue, green, red. Yeah, that's that's a mirror image. Isn't it? Shouldn't shouldn't something happen? It's locked. Oh wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! What do these switches do? Push it. Oh, I forgot about that. So wait a minute, I can push both. Huh. Strange. See, normally, one side is always fixed. But these paintings can both be changed on both sides. Alright, let's just stick with one and see if I can get it on the other side. No. So I'm guessing that one's probably never going to work, right? Yeah, okay. So let's try that one. Nope. 
Right, that one's never going to work either. That one, I think, will work. Bingo. That's... That's it, right? That should be it. It's locked. I are confused. Is that not a perfect mirror image? Can I move these? No. No. No, that was that was perfect. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shit. Can I pull it? Oh no. No, 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 no. I can't get behind it now. Did I just screw myself over? Can you not grab it? Can I not pull? I think I just got screwed over by this game's terrible movement system. The fact that you can't grab something. Oh no. I did. I can't pull it, can I? Use. Doesn't work. Shift doesn't work. Menu just opens the menu. Shit. <sighs> as annoying as it is, I'm still wondering though, what did I get wrong? Is it not a perfect mirror image? T, T, cup, cup. Blah, blah, blah. Everything there is fine. I took the cake out. The cake is a mirror image. Candles affixed to the table. Was there anything with the candles? Nope, affixed, affixed. I don't get it. Um, can I leave the room and come back and will it, like, reset? Nope. Shit. There's a piece of shortcake on the table. Nope. Wait a minute. Wait, what the hell? Did that move from where I put it? Hold on, let me leave and come back. Oh. They put in something to solve the issue, didn't they? Because they realized there was a problem, so it kind of like goes to a neutral position where you can manipulate it when you leave. Okay. Thank you for that. The puzzle should not be trying to figure out how to move the plant without screwing yourself over because for some reason your arms are unable to move stuff backwards, only forwards. That should not be the puzzle. Okay, so what am I missing? What am I missing? What do I have? Just a letter. Well, I mean, there's like, there's no placard here, but I can't do anything about that. Can I? Hold on, let's go back out. Have I missed anything else? Oh, I can actually go back down? I didn't think it'd let you go this far back down. Is that a blood stain on the... I hear dripping. Whoa. The rope that I gave to the person he used to hang himself. Someone hangs from a rope. All right, have I missed something? Wow, how far back can you go? This is really far. Up there is the spider. There's not going to be anything useful here. I don't feel like I've missed anything. I mean, the only thing missing from the mirror room, as far as I can tell, is just the placard. Uh, the plaque, the sign. I 
Alright, top to bottom. Wait a minute, the painting. Ah. Oh. The painting resets too. That's weird. Hold on, let's put this back into place. Why would the painting reset? There we go, that is a mirror. Top to bottom. The plaque is missing, granted. The painting is the same. The chinaware on top of the bookcase is mirrored, right? One... Yeah. The color of the stuff on the shelves. Green, blue, blue, red, red. Green, blue, blue, red, red. Red, red, blue, blue, green, green. Red, red, blue, blue, green, green. Red, blue, green, green, red. Red, blue... Blue, green... Yeah, that's the same. And the frog is the same. And the candles are the same. And the cake is the same. And the roses are the same, and the plants are the same. But it's locked. Fine, I'll take the cake. And then I'll put it back down. Because I can. Is this not a mirror image? I mean, the mirror is supposed to be in the center of the room, right? Right? So... In... Unless I'm just misinterpreting what they mean by mirror image? No, that, that can't be. I'm thinking, what if everything is just supposed to... What if I'm supposed to copy exactly what's on the left room on the right instead of actually mirroring it? Because there's a difference. This is mirrored down the center of the room. I could copy what's on the left side of the room to the right by having the cake on the left side and having the plant on the right side of the table and so on. But that can't be it, and the reason why is this. The chinaware on top of this thing. Look, when you rearrange it, it doesn't move what's on the top. On the top is mirrored. So it's obviously supposed to be mirrored. No. I mean, I could try. Hold on, can I get this to not be a mirror image, but a copy? Let me see. Is that it? No. I'm not even sure if this is looping at this point, or what. Or did I get this wrong? I'm confusing myself now. No, that is correct. Right? Yeah. I'm confused. I don't get it. I don't get it. Hmm. I can't... This is a mirror image. If I was to make a copy image, it would be impossible because of the chinaware on top. Because I can't manipulate that. Alright, well, I'm gonna figure this out, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, I, I just looked at the walkthrough to figure out what was wrong, because I literally could not think of a single thing. Then I found out what you're supposed to do. I was mentioning at the, uh, the plaque, or whatever the hell it is on the wall, is the only thing missing. But I couldn't find one to put on the other side. Well, apparently, you can, instead of putting one up on the other side, you can simply take this one down. Tear off note. Throw the note off. The left and right rooms are mirrored. I know. Heard an unlocking sound somewhere. Thank you. It's kind of... I don't know, it's kind of weird. That one. 
Okay, it's weird for two reasons. Like, it's, it's not horrible, but... Here's two reasons I found that awkward. One, apparently those are pieces of paper on the wall, but to me they look like placards. Like placards you might find installed at a museum. Like the kind of things that would be screwed into the wall, so I didn't think you could simply tear them off. And the other thing is that everything I put in this room to make it mirrored was either moving stuff, or like placing stuff, like placing the frog, placing the cake, placing the rose. It wasn't removing anything. That's why I found that confusing. I don't know, I mean, I guess it was the only thing different, so I probably should have went back to it, but that was a bit weird. Anyway, no big deal. What the hell was that? Oh, it's the frog. I forgot about you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, froggy. Come with me. The door opened. <laughs> 